what's going on guys this is malcolm you're on malcolm talks yeah we right back at it again man every time you wake up we back at it now today i want to talk about something something pretty basic it's about the difference between wishing and doing because you got a lot of people wishing man you got a lot of people doing but there's more people wishing than the ones that's doing why is that well it's based on a technique that some people have it's not magic it's just that certain people have the technique and other people don't yeah you know you got some people who are willing to work much harder than everybody else but see it goes a lot deeper than that um, if you look at an ant mound and you look at all those ants all the ants it's thousands of them you would never say man one of them ants lazy them ants lazy man there's one ant down there he just lazy he don't want to work nah you wouldn't say that there might be one ant that's doing a little more work than all the rest of them but for the most part they ants they all ants man a little bit more work here, a little bit less work there, it's not gonna make that big a difference. They all ants. And it's very similar to us, we're all human. One of us might work a little bit harder than the other, but that's not the determining factor of success a lot of times. We're human beings. So when you, and just, just my take on it, so when you see somebody that has achieved an outrageous level of success, or it just seems like they always find themselves in the right place at the right time. They're always benefiting from different experiences and, and things like that. Their life just seems great. It's because they tapped into a, a very powerful secret. And I'm not saying I know everything, but I will tell you this. Everything they, they're experiencing, it was real in their mind's eye first. I want you to let that sink in for just a second. Because you might think you know what I'm talking about. It was real in their mind's eye first. That's the difference between people that are wishing and people that are doing. See, what does it mean for something to be real in your mind's eye? All right, let me give you an example. Let's say I want a Porsche. I want a red Porsche, and I really, really want a red Porsche. I don't, but I'm just saying, I I, I, I like Porsche, but I'd rather have maybe a silver one, maybe a white Porsche. Pearl white would be nice. But let's say I wanted a red Porsche, right? And what do I do? I start visualizing. I'm like, man, whew, it would be nice to have a red Porsche right now. Let me just visualize it and try to make it real in my mind's eye. See, this is what y'all think that that's what this means. I'm going to try to make it real in my mind's eye. I'm going to try to imagine myself driving that Porsche and imagine the wind blowing through my hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop the top. I'm going to imagine that sunshine beaming down on the top of my bald head. And I'm just enjoying the ride, man. Just loving that Porsche. Man, I've arrived. You know, that's that's what you think that that uh, that manifestation is. That's what they've been telling us. They tell us, you know, you got to have that feeling. You got to have that good feeling. You got to be in sequence with the vibration to be able to magnetize the experience to you. Therefore, you will attract. See, that's what they're that's what they tell you. But let me tell you what it really means for something to be real and to real in your mind's eye. I want you to really think about this. Let's say I want a red Porsche. Now let's say I have a red Porsche. You see what I did? I have the red Porsche now, okay? When you see me in the red Porsche, what are you gonna say? You're gonna be like, damn, that red Porsche is clean, bro. And I'm gonna be like, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate it. That's after 30 days of having that Porsche, though. It's still new to you. Stay with me now. That Porsche is still new to you after 30 days. So you're still riding around like this. 
Yeah, I got this red Porsche. But what happens after six months of driving that red Porsche? What happens after a year? What happens after a year and a half? Same, same red Porsche. Continue, like make it real in your mind's eye. Don't make it real just, just off the great feeling you'll have. Start thinking about the maintenance costs. Start thinking about people that come up to you and say, man, that Porsche is clean. And you're like, I mean, it's all right. I appreciate it though, I appreciate it. See, make it real to the point where that you, you're so used to that red Porsche, it don't even mean anything to you anymore. You're just, you're so used to driving it that it's no longer, it's no longer that appealing to you anymore. It might be appealing to other people. But when you make something real in your mind's eye, you have to be, you have to make it real in your mind's eye. Imagine if you've been driving that Porsche six months. You're gonna be like, you're just gonna be driving the Porsche. It's gonna be point A to point B. Now, now mind you, you're gonna be fresh as hell in that red Porsche. But in your mind, you would have already moved on to something else. Now you want the Ferrari. Now you want the Ferrari. So to get the red Porsche, you need to be thinking about the Ferrari. I can't do nothing but give you the game, guys. This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. Comment down below, man. I think I tapped in, man, and I, I'm trying to share this with you guys. Whatever it is you want, whatever it is you really want, you gotta go five, six levels above that in your mind's eye. That's the only way, guys, because for whatever reason, whatever it is we want is just out of reach. So you gotta reach past that so that you can grab that whatever you're looking for. I'm gonna holler at you guys next time, man. Peace, subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video, I'm out.